Open Shot Video Editor Complete Tutorial for Beginners Hey guys, welcome! In this video, I'm giving you a complete tutorial on Open Shot Video Editor which is a free video editor we get. We can download it on our Windows, Mac and we will be able to use it. It has a lot of different features and tools. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to openshot.org and you will land on this website right here. Openshot is a free video editor that gives you different uh, features such as we have cross platforms, we have unlimited tracks, we have video effects available, title editors, 3D animations, 70 plus languages, we have slow motion, audio waveforms and much much more. So in order to get started, you will have to download the application in your computer. So you will find the download button right here. We can download OpenShot on our uh, Linux download. We have Chrome OS and Windows and uh, we have other codes as well. So I'm going to click on download for Windows and then you're just going to click on next and install. And it, the new version of OpenShot will be downloaded into your computer. So once it's downloaded, you're going to open it up and this is what it will look like. Pretty simple platform, but it is actually a platform that can compete with highly paid video editors out there. Uh, let me show you how it works. You can see we have file, edit, title, view here. We have simple new project option here. We have open project. We have save project button. We have undo and redo. We have import files that uh, we can import from any other platform. We have choose profiles. We can also uh, go to the full screen and then we have our export video option at the top here. Uh, then at the bottom, you will be able to see we have project files. We have transitions we can add, effects and emojis. Here, I will be getting a preview of my video. This is where I'll get the video preview. And at the bottom, we have uh, different time tracks, of course. And here I have the trim option. We have add track and more. So in order to first get started, you can actually upload and add a project here if you have any video uh, or or audio or image you will upload it right here so I'm gonna click on new project and here we are now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on open project and I'm gonna select a project from my computer so my footage has been imported now uh, to import again you can just click on the import option and it will allow you to choose a file from your computer uh, we can also adjust the window here so I'm gonna actually you know expand it so that our main screen is bigger here or like this perfect uh, so this is where the video will be added you can also drag and drop or upload your files we can add video audio and image everything here so this is a pretty good start uh, you will just upload everything right here in this window and then you can get started by just dragging and dropping the video here uh, at the bottom, you will be able to see our video has been divided into different tracks. I have like eight tracks created. How to create a new track? Just hit this plus button and it will create a new track for you here. So in order to get started with the video, I will suggest going with the first track. And now all you need to do is just like drag and drop your video right here in the first track and it will be added right here. And now we can move the video very freely. So I'm going to like keep it in the start. And at the top right here, we can expand it or we can narrow it down so that it is according to the whole video. And I'm going to actually do that so that it's expanded to the whole window. So I have added like this and now my video will be added here. Uh, similarly, we have this timeline here that will show me the video. So our video ends here. We don't need to expand it that much. So I'm just going to keep it to the size of the video here. Okay, now it's perfect. Uh, so you can see this is my video that I can add it. We can also select the footage size now. If I want to make it smaller, if I want to rotate it, I can do so. We can zoom in and zoom out as well. This is in track one here. Uh, one of the things that you can do here uh, with the video is that you can actually right click and it will give you some of the more options. We have copy, we have fade, animate, rotate, layout, we have time, volume separate audio slice transform and more and then we also have the remove clip if you want to separate the audio and then you will be able to uh, add a single clip or a multiple clips as well then we have transform we have properties as well so here you will get a bunch of different options that you can go for 
uh, when it comes to the edit you're gonna click on the edit option here so the first thing that we can do is we can edit out our video as well as we like so for that you can trim it you're gonna select this option and now what you can do is you can select a, a two types of you know two uh, parts of your video and you can trim it as you like we have this trim option here as well if you want to cut it you will be able to do so and it will trim your video similarly we have fast forward and we have like add marks to click on add mark and you will be able to mark different positions and you will be able to split your video uh, within your you know canvas right here you can switch to the transitions and in transitions we are getting circle in and out a lot of different transitions you can see right here i can now since i have added a mark here and if you have more than one video so we want to add transitions right there is a transition from one footage to the other so you will be able to use a lot of different transitions here we have like clouds we have ripples a lot of lot of transitions that i don't see in highly paid um you know platforms or these are always paid transitions that we are getting getting for free in open short um similarly we have effects so in effects you will be able to see we have a uh, blur effect we have captions that we can add we have um color saturation we have crop we have delay distortion echo hue expander negative object detector we have stabilizer we have wave tracker so all of these different effects are available here then we have emojis that we can add. So this is just for the stickers and emojis that we can add to our video. Um, for instance, there's any emoji that I want to add here, I will be able to do so. You can always, while editing, you can get the preview of your video, like what's happening uh, here. So you will be able to play it anytime you like. Uh, with the tracks here, if you have added the video in the first track, you can add the other video if you want um, to edit it out. You can add it in the second track so that the editing keeps uh, separated. If you are adding some of the marks in one video, then you will be able to edit your video separately as well. Working in tracks actually becomes really easy. So if I just like make it a little more, more smaller, then you will be able to see the tracks here. You can see I have like more than four tracks created here. In second track, I can add the music as well. So we can drag and drop the music too. And working with OpenShot becomes more easy. We have a music too that we can add. So you can also click on show all and then we have different categories in the emoji section. We have uh, show all in effects and transitions and here I will be able to see my project files that I have um, uploaded. Uh, similarly, we have a full screen option here. We have choose profile and import files as again. So if you want to import anything, you will be able to do so from here. Uh, within our editing here, we are also getting the option of center uh, the timeline on the playhead. Now, if you know editing, you will actually edit out everything here. I'm showing you around uh, all of the different tools so you will have a better idea that how we can edit it out. In files, you have open project, recent project, save, import file, choose file and import. So once your video is edited, you actually click on the import option given here. You can see. We have export video here. Click on export video and you will be able to edit it out. Uh, you can select the background images too. You can add backgrounds and you will be able to select your uh, video size and you know whatever um, quality you are going for. So we have like HD uh, 180 videos that we can create with open short and then we have mobile videos that we can create. We have HDV, vertical. So you can select your file from here, the size of your video and you will be able to select here and um, select a format for the video that you are creating. Uh, similarly, we have um, quality that will remain high here. You can add a project name, click on save, uh, export video and your video will be exported from OpenShot. This is how you will edit it out here. Um, if we talk about the different features within our open short, as I mentioned before, you will be able to crop your videos. You will be able to create high quality videos uh, with open short for free. So do go ahead and check it out right now. Open show video editor. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.